Hi everyone, let's now go beyond your basic algebra class and let's factor higher degree expressions that are still in quadratic form. And what do we mean by quadratic form? So we're going to factor expressions now that can be expressed as au squared plus bu plus c after, after performing what I call a u substitution. Uh, we often use the letter u as a substitution letter in calculus. So our expressions can be written like this after performing a u substitution, where, by the way, a is a non-zero coefficient, leading coefficient, and a, b, and c are all real coefficients. So for example, let's factor 2x to the sixth minus x cubed minus one over the integers, over z, the set of integers. Meaning, I'm going to break this thing down in such a way that all the coefficients will be integer only. So no pi's or two-thirds. First of all, let's observe that the GCF is one. If the, if the GCF is not one, you have to take care of that. <laughs> all right. As it stands, we have a trinomial. And it turns out that we can think of it as a cutie, a quadratic trinomial, if we perform an appropriate substitution. Well, how do we know that this thing is in quadratic form? Well, take a look at these exponents. The, ex the degree here is six. That's the exponent on the leading term. Uh, the exponent on x in the leading term. The exponent here is three. The exponent on x in the middle term here by power. Now, let's compare these two powers of x. How is x to the sixth related to x to the third? x to the sixth is the what of x to the third? It's the square of x to the third. Because when you raise a power to a power or exponent, you multiply the exponents. So when you square a power of x like this, you're doubling the exponent. The square of x to the third is x to the sixth. So if you have a cutie like this, where the highest exponent on x is twice this other exponent on x, and if you have a constant term over here that's not zero, then this can be thought of as a cutie. It's in quadratic form, and it can be written as a cutie. If you apply a substitution like this, u equals x to the third, that middle power of x. And once again, if u is x to the third, if u is x to the third, then what's u squared? u squared is the square of x to the third, or x to the sixth, is what we did over here. So x to the sixth over here now becomes u squared. I'll erase these. So if x to the third is u, the middle power of x, then x to the sixth is u squared. We can utilize this pattern because, again, the highest exponent is twice that lower exponent. Six is twice three. And we have a constant term over here. So when you apply this substitution, u equals x cubed, and also u squared is x to the sixth, then how can we rewrite this in terms of u? We can rewrite this as 2u squared minus u minus 1. We can rewrite this as 2u squared minus u minus 1. And lo and behold, we have a cutie in u. It's a quadratic trinomial in u. You should be able to factor this old school. So we get the factor 2u plus 1 times the factor u minus 1. The factor 2u plus 1 times the factor u minus 1, or vice versa. And then we need to go back to x. So u goes back to x cubed. Again, u goes back to x cubed. We substitute back. And we get the factor 2x cubed plus 1 
times the factor x cubed minus one. Over time, you should be able to go directly from this original trinomial straight to here. You don't have to apply the substitution. This is optional. You don't have to do it. But I think it helps students when they're first starting off with factoring these kinds of six degree guys. So I think that these substitutions help, but they're optional. Uh, with time, you should be able to go directly and factor the six degree trinomial directly as this cubic third degree factor times this cubic third degree factor. Okay, question, are we done? Are we done factoring this thing over the integers? It turns out that for the 2x cubed plus 1, the answer is yes. That piece is, in fact, prime. So the 2x cubed plus 1 does turn out to be prime. We cannot break that further over the integers. And 1 times doesn't count. <laughs> the 2x cubed plus 1 is prime. Uh, we're going to see why in chapter 2. If you don't believe me, I don't blame you. But it does turn out that 2x cubed plus 1 is prime. However, the x cubed minus 1 over here, uh-uh-uh, that's not prime. That's a difference of two nice cubes. We have here a difference of two nice cubes. And we have a rule for factoring a difference of two nice cubes. So we're going to apply the factoring rule. Whoops, sorry. We're going to apply a factoring rule for this difference of two nice cubes. Basically, factoring a difference of two cubes. By the way, if, if I cover up the two here, I'll go ahead and scratch out the, the two here. If we had just x cubed plus one over here, we could factor that as well. But the two kind of ruins things. We have to give up, that's prime. All right, x cubed minus one. How do you factor that using the difference of two cubes rule. I'll give you 15 seconds to remember it. Remember, it's going to be a binomial times a trinomial, and we're going to use the SOAP trick, the SOAP acronym, to figure out the signs. By the way, the GCF is 1. Uh, it helped a lot that the GCF was 1 at the beginning. All right, so let's factor this thing. So x cubed minus 1 factors as x minus 1, which was more, the more obvious binomial factor, times the trinomial x squared plus x plus 1. How do we get that? x minus 1 was the obvious binomial factor. x is the cube root of x cubed. We use the same sign, the minus sign, just like this over here. The cube root of 1 is 1. And then we build off the binomial factor to get the trinomial factor. So the square of x, the square of x is x squared. O for opposite sign, that's a plus sign. 1 times x is x. AP for always plus. And then the square of 1 is 1. So we factor this difference of two cubes, x cubed minus 1, as the binomial factor, x minus 1. And then building off that, we get the trinomial factor, x squared plus x plus 1. And don't forget our prime guy over here. But don't forget the factors you already have, the 2x cubed plus 1. All right. At this point, we're done. Uh, remember the trinomial factor here from the difference of two cubes deal? That tends to be prime. Uh, remember, the GCF is 1. If you don't believe me, you can work out the what? That D word. You can work out the discriminant for this cutie.
right? The discriminant for this QD turns out to be negative, uh, which means that we cannot factor this further old school over the integers. We have integer coefficients, it's a QD. Discriminant's negative though, so we cannot factor it nicely old school. All right, so there you have it. This six degree polynomial where the GCF was one, you didn't think you could do this back in your old algebra class. Now you can do it in our pre-calc class. It's in quadratic form. If you wish, do a substitution. You don't have to though. Right? Factor it has a QD in U. Substitute back to powers of X, right? We see that the first factor is prime. In chapter two, we'll know for sure. X cubed minus one, we know that we can factor that as a difference of two cubes. It's a binomial times a trinomial. So this guy up here, the six degree thing up here, factors as this times this times this. And at this point, we're done. Okay, next up, we are going to see some more exotic factoring in the next lesson.